Welcome back, you guys. This week, we're talking about something super fun. We're talking back to school shopping, specifically for the people who watch my videos who might be living in the dorm rooms in college for the first time this coming year. You know me, I'm a little college student. I'm going to my senior year. So I'm a veteran at living in college related buildings. My freshman year, I was in a dorm in your very classic standard dorm, like high beds, a roommate that I met on the internet, bathrooms, communal bathrooms, and no AC. Like I live that life. I go to school in Wisconsin. I see hot weather, humid weather, gross weather, snow, all of the above all the time. And I just wanna help those who might not know what they need to bring with them when they're going to school and the do's and don'ts. So we'll get started. So first up, we're gonna start with organization and basically just like how you're going to keep track of all your things. Cause something that you're gonna realize as soon as you get put into that tiny dorm space is the lack of room you have for your stuff. You have to get really good at organizing things you have. You have to make sure everything has a place. You don't want things to be scattered. You definitely don't want to be the messy roommate that has everything all over so it's really important how you organize your stuff and storage storage is going to be your best friend in the dorms and you want to make sure you're getting the most out of everything you are using so my number one tip for college storage command hooks these things are going to be your best friends they make so many different styles shapes they hold different weights command hooks are probably not new to you guys but something that might be new is you can't put holes in the wall in college most of the time they're cement they're brick you can't put a nail into them and if you can you're probably not allowed command hooks are a really easy way to leave no residue or anything left behind and hang up every single thing you want to hang up i was in the dorms it was the time of like the vines on the wall that i i still have in my bedroom now and i actually use mounting putty a sticky putty like the blue putty to hang them up this is a super easy way to hang up stuff that doesn't weigh that much and you just want up on the wall so decorations i use it to even like mount stuff in my drawers so it doesn't slide around. I think they're an underrated legend. I give a bunch out to my friends all the time, every single year. They're great for hanging up posters as well, flyers, papers, anything you need up that weighs probably under a pound. Super awesome, highly recommend. Easy to store and super small to keep too. Next up is a bedside shelf. So something that you're going to realize if you have your bed in the sky, which I'm assuming most will, cause that also helps with storage and having room for stuff, is that unless you don't want it, like, I mean, unless you want it on your mattress, you're not really gonna have a spot for it. So something I did my freshman year was to get a little table that attached to the side of my bed so I could put my phone on it, I could put my, my water bottle on it, I could put my glasses on it, and everything that I needed to have right there when I was in bed. It was super helpful. I know a lot of my friends didn't have them and so they'd always sleep with just like their phone under their covers. But I think this is a really cool and affordable option to just have extra space up in the sky. Next up is something both me and my roommate had and mine, I personally had it before I went to college and just brought it with me. But if you don't have one, I totally recommend it because it kept everything for me and that's an eight cube storage container i don't really know what the official title for it is called but they have them on amazon i think mine's from ikea target all of the above have them but you buy the bins and they're just such easy storage like i keep socks pajamas shorts you can keep dishes in them if you want just miscellaneous things anything you can think of you can probably fit in this bin and if you put it right side up instead of this way it does doesn't even take up that much room and it's just it's beautiful it's gorgeous when it stood up tall it was like the same height as my bed so I stuck my fan up there to blow straight on me at night beautiful and then focusing again on organization is gonna be what we're gonna have on your desk I like to use acrylic holders so I could just like see into the options but I use these for pens pencils office supplies and then makeup it was super easy when I had acrylic holders to keep everything on my desk and keep it you know off the surface of itself but keeping it in a view so I could grab it any single time. I loved my acrylic holders. In fact, I still use them. I've repurposed them a little, but let me show you an example of them. So here's an example of one. I'm keeping my makeup in it right now, but you can keep pretty much whatever you want. I have access to see everything. It's right here and it fits on my desk really, really nice. So I just set it up like this. This one focuses more on like skincare and makeup, but I have this one that I use 
that I would like keep my pencils in and all my school supplies. There's makeup in here right now just because I'm not in school, but another one. And these are super awesome just to set down on your desk and to keep everything together. And finally, my final note for organization is my pride and joy. It's the three tier cart. You can buy as many of these want and use them for whatever. Uh, you could stick them in the bathroom to hold stuff if you do have a bathroom attached and it's not communal. I kept snacks in mine and like first aid and everything. It just, they're so small, but you can keep so much in it straight up. And it's another thing where you can just see what you have so you know where it is and you don't forget. I love my three to your cart so so much it has wheels easy to move around it's just chef's kiss and i still use mine to this day i'm going into my senior year i'm almost even done with you know campus living in that lifestyle and i'm going to keep using the three tier cart it's just gore yes now we'll be talking about things that you might just need for your room or things you want for your room maybe not a need but things of a want but i will be frank with you unless for some reason you have ac directly in your room i'm not talking like the dorm like if your resident hall has ac but your exact room does doesn't, you are going to need fans and you're going to need a shit ton of fans. You're gonna need standing fans. You're gonna need box fans. You're gonna need desk fans and personal fans. I'm gonna be so real with you. You can't have too many fans. I mean, maybe you could if you had like a hundred, but you're not gonna. I had, so both me and my roommate had two big ones that we, we would keep in the windows and we had our windows open all the time. If you don't live in a place that's completely miserable outside, like Wisconsin, for example, it's bad, but it's like tolerable when you're in the dorms for some reason, cause it always runs hot. We would keep both our windows open at all the time and keep the fans in the windows to just pump cold air in because it's always so hot in the dorms. And then I had one up on my eight cube shelf that I talked about that would blow directly on me at night. And then I had a desk fan that would blow on me when I was working there as well. So I had three fans and I think my roommate had three or four. So there were a lot of fans in that little room and no one's gonna look at you funny. Everyone's gonna wish they brought more fans most likely. And they are just gorgeous. One of my fans was a Dyson and this baby was also air purifier. That was the one that I had blowing on me at night, it cleaned the air you'd be, actually you probably wouldn't be surprised to know how dirty it can get in a dorm room, living that close to someone with everyone running around all the time. It can get pretty dirty. So something you can do for health prevention or if you're just like allergic to dust is get an ear air purifier. I recommend them. I've used one every single day since. A lot of my friends from college also have air purifiers and they're super great. So. If you can't afford a Dyson, cause they are kind of expensive, that was a Christmas gift. You can just get a normal air purifier, but I think they're super awesome to have in the dorms. So something that I know was a rule at my school, and I don't really know if it's a rule everywhere, but I'm guessing it is if it wasn't mine, is that there are not candles or anything that have flames allowed in the dorms. People still brought candles. But a solution to getting around this is Febreze plugins. I think they're super easy. They're kind of chemically, but you know, the Febreze plugins are probably the least of your worries of your freshman year of college, just being totally honest. But they're a very easy way to keep your dorm smelling somewhat nice because they can get a little stinky. They can get a little stinky. So just making sure everything in there is spick and span is super easy. And Febreze plugins or any kind of plugin. It doesn't have to be Febreze. I'm not like sponsored by them. It's just the first one that came to mind. Use any kind of plugin. Use anything that smells good that doesn't have a flame and you're solid. All right, next up probably only applies if you have a mini fridge, but a Brita. A lot of halls nowadays do have water bottle like fillers whatever, water fountains, bubblers, I don't know where you're from. Sometimes it's a haul to go get to them. And in the middle of the night when you're just so thirsty, you just gotta fill your water up. And a Brita is a super easy way to do that. You just keep it in your fridge, <laughs> pour water in it, cleans it for you. Fantastic. I know we have like the ones that you like take your water bottle and like stick it in and it automatically like pours water into it. They didn't like clean that filter for a really long time. So it was on red for a really long time. So even though we had one of those, it was important to me and my roommate that our Brita was still being used because the water, you know, probably wasn't the cleanest it should have been for a bunch of college students, but 
All right, next up is how to get rid of harsh lighting. Your overhead light, I honestly don't know if mine ever came on, is the ugliest, brightest thing you've ever seen in your life. It's like being in a hospital, but you're like on the table in the middle of surgery and it's the bright ass light shining down right on you. It's disgusting. And again, mine was like never on. Simple solution to this, lamps, shit ton of lamps. You got desk lamps, you got fun lamps. Maybe you got a little like, I don't know, duck lamp. You got string lights. I had string lights under my bed that were super super cool, anything except your overhead light. So if you wanna buy a cute little lamp, now's the time to do it. Now's the time to go, mom, I need a lamp because that's just what they do in college. I would also say it's 2024. Sadly, LEDs, like the strips are being retired. Of course, you know, your room, your choice, bring them if you want, but they are not as popular as they used to be, especially like my freshman year, everyone, pretty much used to have them, I didn't, but they also like take the paint off your wall. So be careful if you are bringing them because I know my boyfriend had them and it like destroyed his walls and ceilings. So just be super careful. Easy way around that is like string lights. So you use the command hooks to hang. All right, next up is if you are a makeup connoisseur, don't bring all of it first off. Use what you're gonna bring and keep it in a makeup organizer or a makeup bag is super helpful. I had a makeup bag that I got, like a big one that I could just like stuff everything in. And I just like kept in a drawer when I wasn't using it. You don't wanna bring like your individual like makeup things with no way to organize it or it's just gonna get everywhere, to be totally honest. You you wanna make sure you have that under control and a super easy way to do that quickly is a makeup bag. All right, next up is something I wanna tell you in case no one else has told you, but I, you might know, but I really wanna make sure. The bed you're gonna get, unless you get like special circumstances, is going to be a size twin extra long. Twin XL. So when you're ordering your bedding, which you're gonna need, make sure you get bedding. It's a Twin XL and a mattress topper. The beds you're gonna be on are disgusting. And to be frank, I doubt they clean them. So you're gonna want something to separate you from every other person that slept on the bed. Easy way to do that, of course, other than sheets, is mattress topper. Super nice, makes it a lot more comfortable, can even make it feel more at home if you get the same kind that you have on your bed there. But those are important. To be honest, I did not use a mattress topper my freshman year. I liked how the hard bed felt, but I think I'm a very rare story. So I suggest getting a, a mattress topper if you don't. All right, next up is another one if you have a bed in the sky. It's a really long phone charger. Like I'm talking like the 10 foot, 20 foot ones. I got those my freshman year. I still use them, have not gone back. It's the only way you're gonna be able to charge your phone unless you wanna like string an extension cord to the ceiling, which you probably don't wanna do. So getting the super long chargers will help you out a lot. And then staying on the topic of electronics, you're not gonna have a lot of outlets. I think maybe in my room there was four or five, which four outlets, let's say, two per outlet. Sorry if my math's wrong, but that's only, yeah, eight plugins, eight spots to plug in stuff. You're going to need power strips and you're gonna need heavy duty power strips because you're gonna have shit ton of stuff to plug in. You're gonna need to plug in your phone, your computer. I don't know, maybe a calculator if you do accounting or something. Um, all your lamps. Think about all the lamps you're supposed to bring and all the fans you need to bring. You're gonna need power strips, do not Forget the power strips. Those are important. Do the math if you need to. Figure out how many there are in your dorm and how many things you're gonna need to bring. Do not forget your power strips and you're not gonna be able to plug anything in. All right, next is like kind of a maybe. This is maybe more of a want, but especially like when you need to go to the bathroom in the morning, you need to get ready. Maybe you just need to walk over to where your friends live or it's the middle of the night and you don't wanna put on your tennis shoes. You're gonna need some sort of dorm shoe or like slippers. I had slippers, super easy to just like slide on, slide off. You don't have to lace anything up, nothing too fancy. My dorm shoes, um, super easy. Probably something you don't necessarily wanna wear outside if you wanna keep your floor clean, but again, that's up to you. But something that you can slip on and off, get on and off, go to the bathroom with, come back home in. Slippers, super easy. Next one is controversial, what I'm about to tell you. And what I'm about to explain to you is a throw blanket. You do not need five. You do not need four, you do not need three. You probably don't even need two unless you get super, super cold. You need one throw blanket. Your dorm is hot. 
and it's probably going to be hot all year long unless you go to school in I don't know like Alaska because I don't know where you all go to school but just be aware it gets hot in the dorms especially if there's no central like heating or cooling system you probably only need one blanket maybe two if you want to bring another one but if you bring more three four five six you're gonna run out of room for them now is the time to make hard decisions with your limited space if you're a blanket person bring them your sophomore year your junior year whenever you get out of the dorms you can go back to the blanket life you can't do it your freshman year i'm so sorry to be the bearer of bad news as a princess of blankets myself as you can see i have one right here you can't bring all of them and also they're probably gonna get dirty so make sure they're thin small and can go in the washing machine you don't want to bring like a super nice knitted one and then your friend sm spills like ramen noodles on it and you can't stick it in the laundry that would suck so bring stuff you're not fully attached to in that way all right next up is a desk mirror i don't know how many mirrors you guys are gonna get i had one mirror that came with my room and it was like one of the door ones that kind of make you look wonky but i had nothing if i needed to get close up to my face so you need to bring a desk mirror, just something you can slide. It goes away easily. It can get everything you need it to get and you can move on. We don't need to talk about it that much. You just need a desk mirror. And then something that I think is important to bring but no one talks about is a stapler. You are going to have to print off essays, reports, I don't know, other things you need to print and you're gonna need a way to hold it together and you're gonna need a stapler and you're not gonna be able to find one. Bring a little baby stapler, that's what I did. I actually used it all the time. I kept it in my backpack. It got a lot of use. Bring a small stapler or a big stapler. I don't know if that floats your boat, but you don't need a big one when you can get a small one. And then a first aid kit. You're probably gonna do something dumb or maybe not even something dumb. You're just gonna get like a little blister and you're gonna need to take care of it. My favorite is the Welly first aid kit because it has like every single thing you need. It has band-aids of all sizes. It has like pills in it if you need stuff. It has like, <sighs> let me get it, let me show you. Again, not sponsored by anything I'm talking about, but this is my Welly first aid kit. I absolutely adore her. She's heavy duty, so you don't have to worry about that. It has everything I could possibly need. So it's got big ass band-aids in case I like, I don't know, if skin my knee. It's got triple antibiotic cream. You know, don't want infections. It's got hydrocortisone cream. It comes with cleansing wipes, pain reliever medicine, tape, like the butterfly strips, whatever they're called, I don't know. Um, Band-aids with fun designs, cause who wants boring band-aids? More band-aids of different sizes, different kind of band-aid. But you know what I mean? It just has a lot. So here's a good, it, it shows everything it has if you can see that, but I just love it. I think this is super easy. And even if like you're watching this and you're not going to college and you're just watching this to watch this, hey, these are just, this is like a good everyday first aid kit to have, whether you keep it in the car cause you got little kids that like to go to the playground or you just need a first kit on hand because I think every house should have a little first aid kit. I love the Welly first aid kits. It's just like chef's kiss, the most beautiful thing. I love her. I love her so, so, so much. So I recommend the Welly first aid kit. And then cleaning products. Think about this. You gonna bring a water bottle? How are you gonna wash this thing? How are you gonna wash it? Unless you bring dish soap and a way to scrub it. Don't forget those things are gonna have a dirty water bottle. I do know people who do not, who did not wash their water bottle once their freshman year. Don't be that person. Bring stuff to wash it. All right, next we're moving on to bathroom supplies and we're gonna keep this quick. All right, first up, toothbrush cover. You don't want your toothbrush to be getting poop bacteria on it, do you? No, I don't think so. Toothbrush cover, because you're gonna be bringing a handheld toothbrush because you're not gonna waste an outlet on having an electric toothbrush, do you hear me? I'm so sorry, dentists, look away. It's one year. Bring a manual toothbrush with a toothbrush cover. Next up, two towels. You do not need more than two towels. You might even be okay with one towel if you're good at doing laundry. Two towels, two small towels that aren't super big, they're quick drying, and can go in the laundry machine. Two towels. If you're like me and you have a lot of hair, a hair wrap. You're gonna have to walk from your shower back to your room. Some people are robe people. I'm not really a robe person for some reason because that's just another thing when you're in limited space. So I'd wrap my hair up in like the little hair wrap thing and then I'd wear my towel and I'd go back to my room and that's how I walked back and forth. And I kept my hair on my face and it was brilliant, those two things. All right, 
On the topic of showers, shower shoes. Don't argue with me on it. You fucking need them. I promise you, you need shower shoes. Done. We're done talking about shower shoes. Shower tote. The long debate of shower objects. A mesh tote or a plastic tote? What to pick? Personally, I think it's how your shower set up. Mine had a bunch of hooks. A bunch of hooks and a dirty floor. Plastic tote goes on the floor or like a big ass shelf. If you got hooks, mesh. I used to mesh, I loved it. I just hung it up on hooks in my dorm and hooks in the shower. I am a mesh tote girl until I die and if it gets dirty, just fucking wash it. You can wash it. Plastic, little big, little bulgy. You gotta put it somewhere. My roommate used plastic. I know a lot of people that use plastic and plastic's fine. I just like the mesh ones, but to each their own, probably depends on your shower needs. So check out your dorm shower if possible. All right, and our last topic is laundry. Cause no one talks about laundry and I think we need to talk about it. And I left it for last because sometimes you don't have communal laundry and you have laundry available to you. But if you have communal laundry and they're like the front loading machines, cause you know, it's college and they need like 20 of them for a dorm. You need laundry detergent, but I don't recommend like the big liquid containers because let's say you live in a building that has 10 stories and laundry's in the basement. Do you really want to hold a big thing all the way down to the basement? Do you want to lug that around? No, you're going to get sick of that. So Tide Pods. Don't need them, use them. And here's how you're gonna use them too. I'm giving you a lesson. Not only is what you need, but how you're gonna use them, you're gonna throw them into your laundry first. And something that's super important is you cannot overfill the laundry bin. If you overfill the washer, your Tide Pod won't dissolve and then it's just gonna get stuck on all your clothes and then you're gonna have to redo your laundry because it's crusty with soap and you think you're gonna be able to get it out and you can't, you need to do the laundry again. So unless you wanna do laundry twice, and sometimes you even have to pay for it, don't overfill your laundry machine, I promise you. I think we all do it. It might be a rite of passage actually for freshmen, but don't overfill your laundry machine and put the Tide Pod in first or it won't dissolve either. Um, I also, this is also kind of up in the air, but I also don't recommend using like the fabric softener beads. Sometimes those have trouble dissolving as well, just because they're not like super powerful washing machines, like the ones you probably have at home. But maybe figure out what kind of machine you have before you go hard set on like not bringing that if you're really like a beads person. But next up, I also believe in the dryer sheets. Easy way to keep static out of stuff. I don't know why, but everything in college is like so static but that's a great way to get rid of it. Also it helps you smell better, which is important. Here's a little secret that I don't think many people use, mesh bags for laundry. These washers will eat stuff if it's small, they will eat things. So I had mesh bags that I'd like put my socks in, my underwear and, and my bras in. Basically anything that was like kind of small and could get lost, I'd put into the mesh bag and then put in the laundry. It was also super helpful, I didn't lose socks. You know, you're like, oh, where both my socks go? They're in the mesh bags. So that also made just the whole process of laundry like super easy. And then another secret I think is the laundry backpack. I had a backpack that I could just like set up like a laundry basket using like hooks or whatever and then throw my laundry in it, zip it up and then put it on my back and walk it down to the washing machine and dryer. I love that. You know, you don't really want the ones that are like totes that you have to like haul around like this. Again, if you live on the 10th floor of a building, you need to get down to the basement. That's gonna suck to carry, especially if you have a jug of detergent. So just be like mindful and functional about what you're gonna use. The thing about the bag too is it also folds up. You can be put somewhere for more storage. My roommate had a laundry basket that like was on wheels. That was kind of nice. It did end up breaking, which is why I am a backpack first and foremost girly. But if you want rollers, cause you can't do a backpack, which is possible, rolling is good too. And then of course, a small Tide pen for the stains. You can use a small Tide pen, but that's all I have right now to recommend for you guys. I made shopping for you really, really easy. And if you liked anything you heard, you can check it out in the Amazon storefront below, super easy purchasing. But if Amazon's not your way of purchasing these things, you can find them at Target. Ikea, TJ Maxx, you can find them anywhere. 
What's important is making sure that you're prepared for college and that you don't go in totally blind. I think it's important to do some research and it's really stressful. Your freshman year, so much happens. It's actually like, it was the craziest year of my life. And I hope you guys all just enjoyed as much as I did. And I also hope you enjoyed this video. So please like, comment maybe what you learned and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you until the next video. Bye.